Oh, hey there, girl. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm Ashley, if you're tuning in for the first time. I am a beauty guru here on YouTube. I love to do start to finish easy tutorials for beginners on how to install and style your wigs. Today, I teamed up with Eunice to bring you this beautiful highlight blonde curly lace wig. As you guys can see, I executed a beautiful, flawless hairline and I was able to do that with the even I love this one because this one lasts through showers and through workouts even through like sleeping without a bonnet the wig will stay bonded down nonetheless with just a little h2o it'll still come up easy as the yellow one so I do like that one better because again it is a stronger more uh like grip tight hold so if you're interested in seeing how we got this look keep on watching okay ladies let's get right into it this is the packaging and then the other bag is the free goodies I'll show you all of that a little bit later. This is the wig straight out of the box. We are dealing with a ombre highlight kinky curly lace wig. This one is 22 inches in length. And this is a look at the inside construction of the cap. They did include an adjustable elastic band. This is going to help the wig to fit a little bit more snug and give you a little bit more reassurance. And this is what she looks like on. So I love the fact that this one is a curly wig. This is going to be a super super easy install and it also is a super easy maintenance type of wig i am showing you here what the hairline looks like it does look pretty full but once you go ahead and bond her down you're going to see how amazing she looks we are not doing any customization today we're going to keep it very beginner friendly that was a look at what the curls look like from the back now don't be intimidated these curls are what the curls look like straight out of the box but once you give them a little bit of love they instantly will pull out and look so much more natural here I am cutting off the excess lace around the ear. It is important that your wig fits as snug as possible. This one fits my head like a glove and I love the fact that I don't have to do anything to make it feel tighter. It already feels exactly how it should. Here I am cleaning up the hairline, not adding any product because a product will make the hairline a little bit more messy and sticky, but I want to make sure that the hairline is completely, completely straight and flattened. This is going to help the install to be a lot more flawless. I ran out of my edge control from bdagbeauty.com, so I have to shop my own company and get myself a new one from inventory. But for now, I am using my edge control, or actually this is the got to be glued gel. It definitely does not work as good, but just something to keep my natural hair out of the way. We're working with the red even if you've noticed lately this one has been my favorite and I just applied a generous amount from ear to ear because this wig actually fits my head and it's not bulky it's easy to do a one two with this one and just apply it to the entire perimeter. I kind of held it down so it got tacky and then I applied my melt belt from bedeckbeauty.com over top. I'm going in and making sure everything is flat and straight and where it needs to be because this is actually going to dry down the hairline and it's going to bond the wig down while I'm working on the rest of the hair. So as that bonds down, let's go ahead and pull the hair apart. I don't feel the need to actually detangle the hair. I kind of want it to be in its natural state and just pull it out and just see how well or how beautiful it's going to look uh, just pulled out with no product. Now we're going to go in and straighten out that parting and really, really make sure that it looks like it's coming out of the scalp. The dynamic duo is what I like to call it. And it's just my wax stick paired with my bling electric hot comb, both from my site. It is a black owned small business. So make sure you support. I'll have it linked in the description box, but I just use these two products together and I really go in and make sure that everything is nice and pressed out and smooth. Once I got it to my desired look, I'm going to just take a little bit of water and this is a um, continuous spray bottle that um, is also from my site and this is what the hair looks like perfectly pulled out. I love this look. It gives very natural but I do want a little bit of definition. I don't want the definition of like the straight out of the box curls. I want it to look a lot more natural. So I went in with this Cantu and it's like a curl cream and this is going to kind of react activate those curls but it's going to give it that nice natural like curly but frizzy look opposed to again the straight out of the box curls this gives you a little bit more um 
again of a natural vibe and i keep saying natural but now that i've done that and i got my desired look let's go ahead and just blow dry the uh, hairline on a cool setting to make sure that it's dry before we remove the melt belt now that we've removed the melt belt we're going to just cut off the excess lace because the wig is bonded down and it pretty much did the job on its own I like to get in as close as I can with the scissors. Be sure to not cut your skin. It's very, very, very easy, no matter how many times you've done this, to cut yourself. Trust me, I do it all the time. And that's kind of like what I like to like snip, snip, because when I just continue to go at it, I definitely cut myself. So this is a little hack. I don't like the white cast that most lace will leave just naturally. So I use a spritz to go in and just make sure that that kind of melts and kind of just doesn't look so uh, like white if that makes any sense now I'm just going to set it with a little bit of a powder and then I'm going in with a holding spray because I use so much powder I want to make sure that it doesn't give like a uh, powdery so this is the look and I love it so much okay love bugs so we are done with the look I wanted it to set and really give the vibe a lot of the times like when I finish a look, I'll end it off like when the hair is still like wet or setting. So sometimes maybe you don't get the vibe. So I want to do a better job at like stepping away and allowing the hair to get to its full potential so you can see exactly what I'm going for. And this is exactly what I was going for. So you guys seen like during the install process when it came to the length of the hair, I kind of used my fingers. I didn't really want to detangle with curly hair. Um, it's good to detangle, but sometimes it's not necessary. Um, in this case, um, I did want to go for like a dry curly hairstyle. Typically, I go for the wet and I put the mousse and then even then it'll still obviously dry. But for this one, I really wanted to focus on minimum like product and not focus on like the curl curls, but more so like the kinkier, more frizzier curl pattern if that makes any sense something that looks a little bit more natural to like the brown girls so this was the um look as far as the hairline i think lately that's been my biggest focus is setting my game up when it comes to the hairline i feel like i got complacent with like being able to get a good clean hairline um bonded down even with a glueless adhesive but sometimes still having like that white cast that goes from ear to ear so it's like in person it looks really good but on camera you can see that full white cast and so right now that's kind of like where i'm specifically focused is executing a good 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 clean hairline no white cast so we do know this one came from Eunice. they gave me this as well as a dust bag the dust bag does have the goodies in it they did opt for a holiday edition of their packaging i love when companies especially units go in and go the extra mile to switch up their packaging you know to be more festive inside there is a dust bag and this is the dust bag that the actual wig came in it does have the logo and bowls units and then of course it has some um language there inside the dust bag i think probably it's just a, yeah a pack of wig caps and then obviously the wig was in there with the other one this is where the free goodies came in and as you guys can see, there's two. Oh wow. So there's a lot of goodies today. So here is another pack of wig caps. This is like a cute little mesh bag. Does say Eunice on the front. Oh, we're losing the products. Oh wow, these are so pretty. So inside you have these beautiful press on nails. Dakota's gonna be like, mom, can I have some of these? Because her favorite is butterflies and pandas. Um, here is another pack of wig caps. Pair of nice, beautiful lashes. This here is a little kabuki brush. These are perfect to pop in your purse with your setting powder, like your micro smooth powder, so you can like uh, blot, or not blot, but you know, touch up your makeup. And then here is a wig band, and it has Eunice on it. And if you thought we were done, there is definitely still more in here. So in this hand, I have another wig band. Then there is this black velvet packaging. Super nice and fancy. It looks like a pin. <gasps> Oh, this is so pretty. Open it up. There is this beautiful crystal pen. And then on the handle, it does say Eunice right there. They have some of the best gifts. You remember they gave me those rings? Super nice. And then last but not least, they included, it looks like three stockings. I wonder if they did this for my kids. So I'll definitely be sure to give these to the girls and my son. 
three little cute stockings. I think this is special for uh, my kids and they're going to love it. They've been loving all the free gifts they've been getting this holiday season. So thank you so much, Eunice, for that. So yeah, I'm so happy. I love the color combo on this one. I've definitely gotten a lot more comfortable with highlights and browns and stuff like this. And I feel like I can pull this off on day-to-day -day basis. I think years ago, I think this was a color that I would just be like, oh no. But I feel like it gives that Beyonce vibe. You know what I mean? That custom highlight beautiful color that she does but except this one looks more good on or better on my personal complexion let me know what you guys think i'll have a direct link in the description box of course you guys know everything you need to know about this video is there as well be sure to check out Eunice be sure to check out my instagram be sure to check me out here and subscribe and i hope you guys are enjoying the holidays thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches